All right, Brian, thanks. We'll see you soon. Now at five, hundreds of IU students and faculty rallied on the university's Bloomington campus today in support of pro-Palestinian protesters who were arrested over the past week. Police arrested the protesters as they enforced rules against camping at the traditional free speech site on campus. But as Fox 59's Russ McQuaid reports, some of the students and their teachers said the protesters' rights were violated and the president of the university must go. The partial encampment here at Dunmeadow is now in its fifth day, and this morning there was a rally led by IU professors which decried the role of IU President Pamela Whitten in calling in police to forcibly remove some of the protesters and make 50 arrests over the past week. Today's rally at Bryant Hall included undergraduates, faculty, grad students, and Bloomington residents. This made by IU's reaction last week to an admittedly non-violent, though perhaps technically rule-violating occupation of a portion of Dunn Meadow, with professors leading the way in calling on the Board of Trustees to remove IU President Pamela Witten for last week's decision to call in Indiana State Police to clear Dunn Meadow after a Wednesday night decision to enforce a ban on overnight tents in the grounds. Trustee Gwen Buckner. Please let Pamela go. Speaking from across the street because he's been banned from campus for the next five years was protest leader Bryce Green, a graduate student from Indianapolis. They have forgotten the educational mission of this institution. Yes. But with your presence here, you are preserving and safeguarding that mission. The protest supporters marched from Bryant Hall to around the corner and down 7th Street to the encampment to continue their rally. At the Chabad Center across the street, Rabbi Levi Kunin told me Jewish students have been followed, spat on, intimidated, and taunted with chants of intifada, translated death to Jews, and reports have been filed with IU campus police. At Dunn Meadow, student protesters mingled with veterans of other campus demonstrations from decades ago. It's really heartening to see this happening, you know, to see, to see people coming out and uh, then Witten obviously has to go. You can't just change a rule overnight and then, you know, send in stormtroopers. State Police Superintendent Doug Carter told me that his troopers moved in when they believed that hate speech was about to bleed over into violence. Meanwhile, IU President Pamela Witten issued a statement last night partially rolling back some of her restrictions on Dunn Meadow, saying that students and faculty would be involved in conversations on how to open it up for protest in the future and that there would be temporary, that is, tent encampments. We were turned down in a request to interview the president on camera. We've made a similar request to talk to the Board of Trustees. In Bloomington, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.